Let's look in detail how self-attention actually works. So what you're going to do is, um, and I'm going to use an NLP example, a natural language processing example, but you can do the same thing with speech or even with computer vision as well. But let's say we've got this input sentence here, I went to school to learn, and we get a word embedding for each of the words in that sentence. Okay, now this is really where the self-attention layer starts. It takes a sequence of vectors as input, and it's going to produce another sequence of vectors here on the output side. So the notation I will use is, we've got a sequence of vectors as input x, and then we've got an output sequence um, y that pops out at the top here. Okay, and that's one self-attention layer. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take each of the input vectors and we're going to transform them in some way. And in particular what we're going to do for each of the input vectors, we're going to calculate a key, a value, and a query as well. And on the diagram I just show the query for the last input vector. But we're going to take x, we're going to multiply it with some matrix, and that's going to give us a key. We're going to multiply it with another matrix, that's going to give us a value. We're going to multiply it with another matrix, and that's going to give us a query vector for each of the positions. Okay, so for each of the positions, we actually get three vectors. Then what we're going to do is if we want to calculate the output at one of these positions, and we're just going to look at the output at the final position, position six for this input, um, what we're going to do is we're going to take the query vector corresponding to that particular um, input vector. So we're going to take query vector 6, for instance, and we're going to take a dot product between query vector 6 and each of the, the keys in my sequence. Okay, So we're going to take the dot product, and like I said before, it's probably a scale dot product, between Q6 and the first key, between the query and the second key, between the query and the third key, query, fourth key, query, fifth key, and query, sixth key. And that's going to give, in each case for us, a value between um, minus infinity and infinity. And these are the A's that we have in our little computational block for attention. Each of those values tells us intuitively how similar the query is to that particular key. Um, but what we want is we want them to basically all be between 0 and 1, and we want them to sum to 1. So what we do is we take that vector of A's and we put, push that through a softmax layer, and then we get values, all of them between 0 and 1, and all of them, if you sum them up, it gives you the value 1. So it's a distribution, basically, over um, your input vectors. Okay, And then what we're going to do is we're going to take the weight associated with the first position and we're going to multiply that with the value at that position. The weight for the second position multiplied by the value at the second position and so on. Okay, And then we're going to add them all up. And that gives us a weighted sum of our value vectors based on how similar the particular key was to the particular query. And that's going to give us, in this case, the sixth output. And we're going to do that for each of the positions. So for the second position, we will get a query. We will take the dot product of that query with each of the other um, keys, oh, oh, and also itself. We will get the A's, push that through a softmax, and get a different distribution for how we should weigh the value vectors for the second position in our sequence. And then we're going to weigh them, and that's going to give us the output at the second position in our um, self-attention block. I hope that makes sense. That was pretty quick. Okay, but let's step through that quite carefully. And I'm just going to basically repeat all the steps that I just said, but I'm very slowly go through all of the steps. So we have our input sequence x1 to t, and we're going to produce as the output a, a sequence y1 to t. And in this particular diagram, I'm just going to focus on the sixth output here that we want to produce. Okay. So each of your input vectors have been transformed into a key and a value and a query by multiplying each of them with a weight matrix. So we will have a, a weight matrix for keys, a weight matrix for values, and a weight matrix for queries. And we obtain each of the individual keys, values, and queries by multiplying the input at that position with the um, key, value, or query matrix. Actually, let's let's just write that out now. So um, we would have a query at some position t, 
which will be equal to a query weight matrix transpose times x at that specific position. Okay, that would be our query vectors. Our um, key vectors are going to be obtained by multiplying each position with a key matrix. Okay, and then finally our value um, vectors are going to be obtained by multiplying a value matrix with each of those positions. Okay, and these are all vectors, so they need little lines beneath them. That's how you go from the input to your whole bunch of keys, values, and queries. Okay, and now what we're going to do is we're considering the sixth position there. That's the aim of the game. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the dot product, the scale dot product in particular, between the first key and our query. Okay, the dot product between the first key key and our query okay and that then goes there okay so that's the dot product value we're going to do the same thing for the second position so in the second position we're also going to get a dot product between the second key and our query vector okay and we do that in each of the positions right so for the third position we get the dot product for the fourth one, we get the dot product between the, that key and the um, query vector. For the fifth one, dot product. And for the sixth one, which is itself, um, between uh, the sixth positions, key and that corresponding query. So we get all of these dot products. And these are our A's, right? So here we would have an A for um, that's our first A in our attention model, but it's also it's particular to the fact that we are looking at the sixth query, so we would call that A61, okay? And then here we would have A, sixth query, second key, okay? And so on, so you have all of them. Now these values, because they're um, scale dot products, they will be between minus infinity and infinity, they can be any value, but we want to scale these things so that they're between 0 and 1, and if we sum them all up, we want to get 1. And the way that you do that, you probably know this already, is by using a little block called the softmax block. Okay, so we push all of that through with softmax, and then what we get out is we basically get out um, an alpha 6, 1, okay, and alpha 6, 2 the second position. So we get that out, that out, alpha 6, 3, alpha 6, 4, alpha 6, 5, alpha 6, 6. Okay. And this, these alphas are going to tell us how to weigh our values here at the bottom that we got from our input embeddings. How are we going to weigh them? That means I'm going to take alpha 6, 1, a value between 0 and 1, and I'm going to scale my input vector here, V1, so I take that and I multiply that with the uh, value of alpha. So here I get out a vector which is alpha 6, 1 times V1. Okay. In the second position I'm going to take alpha 6, 2 and that's going to serve um, as my weight for the second value vector. So I take the second value vector, I output that. So here in the second position I get alpha 6, 2 times V2, that's and that second value that pops out there. Okay, and you do the same thing at every one of your positions. You multiply with the uh, value vector, you multiply with the value vector, and so you get out all these scaled vectors here. Then what you do, very simply, you just add up all these scaled vectors. So we're going to add them up. Okay, so all of these get added up, and that is then the sixth output of your self-attention layer. So we end up with a little vector here, and that vector is Y6, the sixth output of our attention network. Okay, and how is Y6 calculated, or maybe YI in general? That is calculated as the sum over um, all the time indices, from time step one up to time step capital T, we're going to weigh each of our value vectors. So we're going to weigh each VT. And how are we going to weigh them? We're going to weigh them by alpha 
Um, now alpha will be different for each of the time positions, but alpha will also be different based on the fact that I'm using query number I if I'm outputting um, value number I. In other words, we're using query number six to calculate Y6. Amazing. Okay, <laughs> that's self-attention. You are basically done, uh, which is a little bit crazy. Importantly, we're going to calculate the outputs at every time position, right? So we're going to repeat this. Well, we've actually started with the final position. We will probably start with the first position. And we're going to then have uh, a A11 with alpha 11, uh, A12 with alpha 12. And we're going to then weigh these values differently based that we're in the first position. And then we're going to get out here a vector and that would be Y1. Okay, so we're going to repeat this for all of um, the output positions in our self-attention layer or block. Okay, I hope that makes sense. And um, and that's that's basically it. So each of these blocks, you can think of them as really like a new computational block, almost like a, you know, you, you sometimes see these diagrams with a RNN or a CNN. And this is exactly, again, you have a little block, the block takes in a sequence of vectors, the block outputs a sequence of vectors, and inside that block, you have all these weighted sums going on based on all these little dot products um, that you're taking. Let's just finish the diagram so that you have everything that you need the A's at position T based on the query at position I, that's just going to be, and like I said before, we're going to use the scaled dot product. Okay, so we're going to divide by the dimensionality of the square root of the dimensionality of your queries and your values. And how we're going to do the dot product is we're going to take the query at position I, the transpose of that, and we're going to multiply that with the key at position T, and that gives us our A's. For the alphas, we're going to push things through a softmax. So the alpha for at time step T for query I is going to be the exponential of um, the A's, the scores, um, at IT divided by, and then we're going to sum up over all the time positions up to capital T of E um, and then the score at all the different time positions given that we're looking at that particular query um, I. Okay, so that gives us our softmax scores and then that's what we use to weigh the value vectors in order to get the output of our self-attention block. And that is self-attention. Self-attention is one block that forms the core of transformer layers um, which we will basically build up to now in the next few videos.